25 of my building the Black Pearl all scenario version and I've, uh, I've made some pretty good progress and I learned some things that I would do different nothing major but a couple of hints that I'll talk about in the video itself so let's follow along and see how I got to this point here is an example of me trying too hard and this is the set of doors at the front of the ship and I was concerned because there's about a quarter of an inch where this wall for the doors is above this I'll, I'll call it a rafter well it's irrelevant on this one because part number 6C which this is the one for at least two or three hours I thought this was 5C I could not see the 6 I don't know if it has to do with my eyes but that looked like a 5 but if you get it in the right light just right it definitely is a 6 so keep a close eye but the reason that's irrelevant is this piece fits right on there that raised part is irrelevant in hindsight I should have included these in uh, part 4 of my video series this is 6C and 13 through 15C I just didn't realize I was that close to getting that done and uh, so anyway there it is in this segment I put in place parts E3 and 4 and these are the doorways that are operational the hinges are working pretty well when I installed part E3 I kept looking and looking for the other set of doors because there's a set in the in the uh, back and a set in the front and I thought this was the same thing the printing on this they use a light yellow and for some reason I was not seeing this at all and in real light yellow it says E4 so just be aware of that that uh, anytime it's using the light yellow it can be very difficult to see and it, it could just be my eyes but uh, something to to watch for at this stage of the build there's a lot of small but very important things that need to happen or that I'm in the process of trying to get in the right uh, condition and uh, obviously the wiring and the lights that was an important portion but also making sure that this is all flush now in my case the flooring was sticking out just a little bit further than these ribs so I had to sand all of these down uh, you need to to bevel here at the front I'm not sure that I have the correct amount beveled but all your planking is going to have to curve around here so there's a good chance I'll put additional hammocks throughout the ship it just depends how much space I have this is a good representation of what uh, what I'm trying to achieve on that one thing that the instructions do specifically point out that you need to taper this this piece here I have not secured it in place yet but it's just straight across and it needs to match the angle of this piece back here in the back an example of where I wish I had looked ahead is it's recommending that these pillars that you could uh, file off the edges make them a little bit rounded looking um, I did not do that I started to do it with a file but I'm too far along and it's just too cumbersome and uh, it's not going to be that noticeable so I'm skipping that in the future my next ship build when I have these I may do that even prior to putting them in I could leave the very ends squared and then just rough off or round off the edges of those pillars so that's something for me to have learned the next step it's going to have me start putting these panels on but again by looking ahead a couple of pages you discover that there are some uh, supports it sees 90 I think that's a 90 degree angle isn't it that are supports that go from the uh, floor of the upper deck for uh, the the framing 
and there are um, about 10 of them, I suppose. And it shows them in place. I'm going to go ahead and do that before I attach this side piece because it's just easier to access. On these triangular uh, beam supports, I started out using wood glue, but that was too difficult. Like my clamps just didn't fit right. So I've gone ahead and switched to CA glue. And you can see they're in place and I can hold them for 10 seconds or so. And what wasn't clear to me in the, in the instructions is it really just shows them applied on one side, but you really put them in place on both sides. And each number has two of the triangular pieces. So that confirms that they really go on both sides. And that's why I decided to put them on both sides before I put the outside skin on the front of the ship. The two triangular braces that mentioned they were optional, J11, which was up here, I went ahead and put that one in. It probably doesn't show, and that's why. However, in the instruction book, it X's out J20, which will be the very last. Here's 19. 20 would go here, and it definitely would interfere with the, the operation of the door. So they have an X on the 120, and I'm not putting it in. This is the top layer of the uh, front of the ship, the top deck. And anytime the instructions say polish, that means you may have to uh, sand or file some of the areas. And in this case, it said B4 and B5. That's these support members here. And it's just a little too tight. The other thing I wish I would have done, let me... Uh, pop this off. I wish before I attached these two pieces together I would have cleaned out these slots just a little bit. So now I'm going to combination uh, take a very small file and uh, reduce the size of these and possibly enlarge these just a little bit and the other thing I did is I took the back edge off it of here with a file because this piece has a slight slant to it. To make sure that I had this sanded off enough, I just put a straight edge and ran. I wanted it to, to uh, not have any gaps or this not raise this so it rocked. So that's what I've done. I've filed this down so that it rests on all of them and that's working out pretty well. This does fit in now. I cannot do it one-handed so I'll put it in and then show it to you. Well, oh, there I got the back end. Then these, it takes a little work just to maneuver these a little bit to get it in place. This is what it'll look like once I get wood glue underneath it. I just wanted to test fit it for sure. I also want to stain this just a little bit. There's uh, obviously a hatch or something that goes over that, so I want that to be real dark. One of the reasons I like working with wood is you can make mistakes and normally carve your way out of it or patch it. So on this outer skin, there are two places that help you line it up. There's a knot or a, a post that sticks out and goes through this square hole. And then there's another one back here that lines up the halfway point before you go to the rear of the ship. The instructions so show these two pieces separated when you put it on. So I may end up taking this off, but for now I'm just going to leave it on. But uh, I may need to take it off. So as I'm wrapping this around, I'm in real good shape until I get to the bow of the ship and then this top one is a little higher than the uh, the center frame. But if I take that and bow it down so that it lines up, then I'm getting a bubble out here and I do not want that. So I'm going to opt for going where all the supports are meeting that very smoothly and then if need be I can file this down or, or cut this off. And maybe it's supposed to be raised a quarter of an inch. I did trim these off to fit, 
but the instructions indicate that. So once that's on there, it's a nice smooth transition going to the bow of the ship. So I'm going to go with that. And you notice I stain, I stain most everything, even if I end up covering it with mud or sanding it. Planks will go and cover this up, but if I have a crack between a plank, I want it to be dark underneath. So that's the reason I stain. It's in place. It went pretty smooth, and it is making contact with all those uh, supports, kind of the bones of the ship. So I'm happy with how I've got it placed. I'm in the process of joining the parts from Placard's L and LC. They are duplicate parts. They just glue together. They sandwich together. And the LC placard is a little thinner. I'm gluing the L one on top. And this forms the inner wall of the ship and gives it a lot more strength. However, you need to be aware that you may need to do some sanding on the edges to get everything to match up. These drain ports and the cannon door openings all need to match up what's on the ship exactly. As an example, this is uh, part number 17. And I had to do quite a bit of removal on the bottom. It just depends on how good a craftsman you are. My floor is a little higher than what it was designed for, so I somehow have it a little off. It's not that much, and so I just sanded that off. I also had to sand the sides, and now that one fits in there just perfectly. That's what you want right there. The one next to it, I've not worked on much, and you can tell that there's a little bit more of the white showing on this side than on that side. So I'll need to sand that edge and slide it over just a little bit. I'm going to have to do that with all of them on this side of the ship. In addition, something that I had not counted on or had not thought of, let me turn the ship around, is my electrical wiring is going right at the top of that. So I'm going to need to cut a groove or a little L shape to allow my wires to go behind that. Not a big deal, just something that you need to be aware of and that may change where you place your wires. I don't know that I would do it any different. I could have pulled them inward a little more and then I would not have had that issue. So that's something I'll put in the back of my mind for future. The channel idea is working fine. Uh, the other thing I'll do before I really secure these in place, I will stain them and then I will put planks over the top of the stain. And again, I stain just so if there's a crack or something, you won't notice it. So that's working well. Let me get them finished and get them stained and get them glued in place and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to inject my personal opinion on something. I had just mentioned that uh, this gets a double thickness and those get glued in place behind and I have done that. After you do that the instructions imply that then you plank all of this on the inside which you can see I am working on. I'm talking about planks in this area. And I only have two more little sections to do. However, in doing so, you have to cut around all the windows, those little bitty squares, the water uh, ports for water to, to wash out. You have to etch around those or cut them out. And um, the more I worked on it, the more I realized I think I could have planked these before I even put them in place. And that would have been a lot easier. Note to myself and something for you to consider if you're building this model. I just think that would be an easier way to do it. I want to do a little bit of an update on the lighting. The resistors that came with the ship were a little dimmer than the ones that I had purchased at the local electronic shop. The replacements that I purchased must put a little more uh, electrical power to the lanterns and makes them a little brighter. So I had to make a decision. I could have gone back to the electronic shop and make sure that they matched up the, uh, the exact same or just get something that made them not quite as bright. 
but it's been my experience that LED lights over time may fade or dim just a little bit and I decided I wanted the additional light so that I could see on the different decks a little bit better. So I uh, replaced the ones that came with the kit. There was nothing wrong with them. Actually, it had a very nice look because they looked more like a candle, but I decided to go ahead and go with a little bit brighter light. You can see the hammocks in this lighting and that looks pretty good actually. I'm very happy with those. To those of you that might be interested, my experiment with the Mona Lisa being in the pile of discarded items in the lowest level of the ship has worked out pretty well. You can just barely make her out back there in the distance, which is exactly the look I was going for. My adventure continues in building the Black Pearl All Scenario version and it's, uh, it's been a rewarding experience so far. I appreciate everyone that's watching. This is Boiler Dan 1. Have a great day.